in the last video I showed this little bootloader that makes it easy for me to install programs on my 6502 by just dragging the object files directly into the terminal emulator and it transmits the bytes over to the 6502 and the OS uh, loads those bytes into memory and then runs the program and one of the programs that I showed was this little beeping program that uh, just uses the piezo that I installed on here kind of on a whim and in this video I want to build on that to make uh, more than just beeps so the way this works is uh, on the VIA chip there is a particular pin, PB7, uh, that you can control with a timer. And so you set the data direction registers to indicate that it's an output. Uh, and then you set this counter value, it's actually a 16-bit counter value. Uh, so here it's I've set it to 40FF. According to the data sheet for the VIA, if we look up timer1 operation, uh, this explains how it works. You basically set this counter, it latches it, and then the counter uh, decreases at the clock frequency. But let me show you what this is actually talking about. So the clock signal that is driving the 6502, which I currently have running at 6.25 megahertz, also feeds into these I.O. chips. And uh, Phi 2 is what this signal is called. And that counter value that we saw, um, which I'll call N here, is basically indicating some number of clock cycles of uh, the Phi 2 clock uh, that it's going to count down through. And what it does is each time it counts down n cycles, whenever it reaches zero, it toggles the value of the that PB pin. And so uh, you can see how n uh, determines the number of clock cycles that turn into a half cycle of the PB7 pin. And so we can easily calculate the frequency of the square wave that's going to be generated. It's just the, you know, phi 2 over uh, 2 times the n that we set. And we can easily invert that to calculate the delay that we want for a given frequency. But what frequency do we want to generate if we want to make music? Well, on a piano keyboard, if you start at middle C, the next A above that is uh, the standard frequency for that is 440 hertz. And it turns out there's a... A uh, simple formula for calculating the frequency of any key on the piano keyboard um, by counting relative to A440. So if you count the number of semitones up or down relative to A, um, we'll call that S as in, is the semitones, the positive or negative value. Uh, well, this is the frequency of the corresponding key. So 440 times 2 to the S over 12. So this gives us an easy way for us to calculate the frequency that we want for a given key on the piano. And this given that frequency gives us an easy way to calculate the delay that we want. And then we can use that delay in code like this to set the frequency. And so using this, I figured, why don't I go ahead and make a silly little piano program? And so uh, it's all based on the clock frequency, which I, I have set here. And then I wrote this macro that just takes the, the note, like the index of the key on the, the piano that you want, and runs it through that one formula to get the frequency, runs it through the other formula to get the delay, sets those values into the appropriate registers, then turns the buzzer on, waits a fixed amount, so the sustain of the key is going to be just a fixed value for the moment because the terminal emulator doesn't give me key on and off events, but we turn the buzzer on, we wait a bit, we turn the buzzer off. And then I just did the simple thing here of uh, we loop forever reading a key, and then if it's the a key on the computer keyboard that corresponds to this key on the piano and W and S and so on. This defines how the computer keyboard will map to those piano keys. So let's actually see this thing run. So currently we're still running this beat program, so let's go ahead and reset. And down here we can get the uh, piano program. And so here I'm, I'm showing you the computer keys that are kind of laid out in a, a piano layout and then the corresponding notes, but basically. So then we can do stuff like this.